Hey everyone, this is a follow-up video to the SCORE Art Glass giveaway that happened back in October of 2020. The Sunburst fl Sunflower pattern is what Mo Homesteading, who was the winner, chose. If you're interested in, in homesteading, be sure to check out her channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're interested in more completed projects, be sure to check out this playlist here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey everyone, this is Steve from Score Art Glass. I'm here with you on another project. I'm doing a sunflower burst. Um, this is a pattern by Laura Heathcote from Glowing uh, Pain Glassworks in Ontario, Canada. Um, it was one I found on the internet. I'm actually making it for uh, somebody uh, who just recently won uh, the Score Art Glass. Uh, giveaway. So I'm actually doing this. So I've already printed out the pattern, uh, numbered everything, uh, decided what colors I was going to use, and then cut out all the pieces here. So our next step is going to go ahead and glue it onto the glass. Uh, the three pieces of glass, uh, three colors we're going to use today is this uh, kind of lemony yellow, amber glass, which is going to go in the smaller petals on the outside then the center is going to be this i had put down black but i decided to i forgot i had this actual glass uh which is probably a closer color to the center of what a sunflower looks like because it has some shading in it so i decided to go ahead and go with this glass and it kind of gives it a texture so some depth uh into the center of the piece and we're going to use this for the leaves uh the couple leaves that we have in there Let's go ahead and get started on gluing the pattern pieces onto the glass. So that's how you'll do it. You'll do it on each piece of glass in this manner. And then I'll go ahead and get them all glued up and we'll come on back. Okay, we are back. We have now transferred all the pattern pieces onto the glass. And we're preparing to cut the pieces. Uh, first, you'll want to grab your safety glasses and get those on. And then we'll go right into cutting the pieces. Okay, we have all the pieces uh, cut out. I'm just going to kind of do a quick uh, look and dry fit real quick just to kind of take a gander what it might look like. It won't be an exact fit, but at least you'll we'll get a quick look at, at it. See that we're pretty close when we know that uh, when we grind that we will get everything into where it needs to be. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be okay with some nice grinding. Yep, yeah, it's pretty darn close. So uh, we'll go head over to the grinder and get everything grind down real good. Okay, we are now over at the grinding station and we're gonna go ahead and grind these pieces down.
if you prefer that I uh, just show the whole foiling at regular speed, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll know that uh, you don't get bored just watching me foil. <laughs> Okay, I am finishing the last foiling of this piece. Um, the center piece, I wanted to show you how I'm going to do that piece. Um, that piece is a little bit thicker, so I am going to take you over to the grinder and I'm going to show you a they call a ripple bit and I'm actually going to do a, a grind on the ripple bit all the way around this that's actually going to shave it down at an angle um, so the foil will sit on there a lot better because of the ready to go there we go let's move over and solder it up all right we're back uh, we're ready to solder I'm going to start off with tacking uh, everything together and then we'll go into making our solder beads <music>
I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, ensure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. With that, I will see you on the next video.